Hey y'all, it's your girl Faye coming back to you with another vlog. For those of you who are new here, welcome my returning subscribers. I love y'all. Y'all, I just got a lot of new subscribers and I wanted to try something a little different. If you have a vlogging channel, put your channel down in the comments below and whoever's not following each other, let's follow each other so that we can get more subscribers and link up. That would be so dope, y'all. Vloggers are the hardest channels to grow. I don't know why, but vlogging channels are so hard to grow. All right, now that we got that out the way, y'all, how y'all like my overgarment? I had ordered this from Amazon. I never wear this outside because I just don't like the fabric of it, but I do wear it to pray in. Speaking of that, I'm up super early before it's time for me to pray because I was having so much anxiety and chest pain that I woke up at like 4.11 and it's not time to pray until about 4.25. So when I first started having anxiety, I used to drink chamomile tea. I didn't have the chamomile tea. I had um, some herbal sleepy time tea. So that just had to work. I had to use that. This morning was so busy for me, y'all. I was outside at about 9 o'clock a.m. Just randomly, randomly, randomly washing my car because I just could not sleep. I was on 10. And y'all already know, if you've been here for a while, I do not go to the car wash. So whenever my car gets clean, it's because... I cleaned it. I hate going into the car wash and my wheels don't line up with that little thing. So yeah, that's why I'm out here at 9 a.m. taking advantage of this cleaning my car. What's up, y'all? So it is now 2.16. I've been up since 2.30 this morning. Y'all, I just got off work. Um, I had to take a little nap and I got I gotta go to get like some. We don't got. We don't, I was about to curse. We don't have nothing. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing. We got something. It's like we got something, but we ain't got nothing. So I had wrote a list of the things that I need to go and get. Um. Let me see if I can do a quick outfit of the day real fast. Let me see. I need a sign. Yo, I made this little sweatsuit two-piece thing so long ago. It's just like a skirt with the uh, shirt or whatever. And it got like, you can see the details. Got like um a split down the side. And I got my MCM purse. And I'm wearing these Madewell sneakers. I feel like these are the most mom sneakers that I own. Like the most mom sneakers that I own. I'm going to see if I can get a better picture for y'all to insert it in here. But yeah, like I said, I was um I was up all morning. And now I'm just like super, 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 super tired. But I still got to go out. So I'm going to get ready to head on out. And I'm going to check back in with y'all later and show y'all. But the girl is like definitely given everything that she's supposed to be given. Period. Y'all, it is so hot out here still. Like, I thought it was gonna be getting better. Like, I think I think they said this weekend is supposed to be the last weekend that is gonna be real hot and then it's supposed to start cooling down, but Yo, I washed my car. My husband fixed my car for me this morning. Humdily, like, he is so talented. Like, I'm so happy that I get my car fixed for free. Because this car will cost a lot of money to get fixed. Because it's a foreign car. But he, um, he fixed my car. I need the O2 sensors. Um, what else? I cleaned my car today. So, my girl should be riding real good. She should be riding real smooth. Y'all know my son, I don't know if y'all remember, I told y'all my son is in Atlanta or whatever. And he, um, so I just got him set up. I had him as a authorized user for my credit card for a long time, but 
I just gave him the actual card. Like I had him on here for like two years, but I just gave him the card because he had needed to get um Jenna a few things. And I was like, well, just use the card or whatever because he had a lot of other stuff that he had just did or whatever. So I'm like, all right, just, you know, you could just use the card. It's actually in your name. You could keep it, y'all. My child done maxed that card out already. He is in Atlanta living it up. He done maxed that card out. And he, um, I just feel like we really need to, like, educate our children on, like, credit card usage. Um, the, just having your own debit and bank card, like, from an actual bank or whatever. Because they was all the way out there. He had to use his card for everything. The hotel room the rental car everything he had to use that card for so i'm like you know i'm trying to teach my kids i'm really trying to teach my kids the importance of being responsible when it comes to having stuff in your name your own stuff like so you won't have to ask nobody for nothing that's what i'll be trying to tell them don't be asking nobody for nothing don't ask nobody to get you no rental don't ask nobody to put a car in your name your insurance in your name nothing like have all your stuff situated so that you can be on top of it you don't need nobody to do nothing for you because once you mess that stuff up with your license and all of that stuff it'd be hard to get back that's why whenever i see a ticket come in a name i open it right up and i be on them like no you gotta pay this ticket x y and z but i don't know y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all in a little while so y'all at this point of the video i was like let me just go to the park let me just take some time out to clear my mind connect with nature and just vibe because we be needing it we need peace and quiet we need to be in an environment where we can just take in the grass the sun but then out of nowhere i see a crowd of people starting to form around a tree and i i just ran because i don't know about y'all but I don't sit around and wait for something to happen. I run first and then I figure out what's happening later. But in broad daylight, y'all, a raccoon was just like sitting there and the people were feeding it. Like they just sitting around feeding it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it because I know they come out at night. But I'm like, if we're in his habitat in the forest or whatever, and he's out this early in the day, does that still mean that he has like rabies or something or is he just like chilling like this is my home this is where i'm supposed to be at y'all just here visiting i don't know comment down below if y'all think he had rabies or not because he started coming out closer and closer i was sitting in my car and he just was like walking over there towards the car i was like oh my gosh look at him y'all i just came in the house I cannot shake this feeling. My chest and everything is just like, I'm having so much anxiety and I don't know why. But, um, I wanted to drive over to Kyla and I just did not feel like driving over there. So I stopped at freaking McDonald's. And not only did I go to McDonald's, I got a Coke. And it's just like, I was doing so good. I was doing so good. But I'm so irritated. And then coming here with freaking 50,000 bags and trying to find some way to park. There's no way to park on my block. I should have just stayed in the house. Should have just stayed in the house. But i'm getting ready to watch chelsea's vlog listen my vloggers my youtube girlies y'all the struggle is real we know but we gotta keep grinding we gotta keep pushing even if nobody not watching let's just keep posting until youtube finally says mm, 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 mm. I'm going to push the video out because we just can't give up. And the girls that I'm watching, Chelsea, 
she posting like every two days and she got a hundred and something thousand followers subscribers and she's still posting back to back so it's like you just gotta grind your way up to the top because our channels you know we never know it might blow up it might not but until then we just gotta get slow organic growth and just make everybody fall in love with us that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to make all my girls be like let me go see what faye talking about because i know she about to be either complaining about her kids she about to be shopping she about to be laughing and joking with her husband she about to be talking about her husband she about to be cleaning her house she about to be going to the supermarket she about to be cooking y'all i i really do like i try to post content that's super relatable y'all see this it's like a shayla pen i had brought them from amazon they work a little bit but i just feel like this shayla or this keymar is super duper drunk <laughs> So y'all, it is much later at night. It is 8.50 p.m. Um, I just laid all of the stuff out that I got from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I was in Dollar Tree going ham. Why? Because I'm somebody's mom and I'm trying to save money. Like the same, um, what it, like the same wipes that you could get that's like Lysol or something like that. I feel like these disinfecting wipes from Dollar Tree do the same thing. They smell good. I got all this hydrogen peroxide because I feel like all the hydro peroxide, all the hydrogen, all the hydrogen peroxide gonna do the same thing, okay? All the hydrogen peroxide gonna do the same thing. And I got scope. I got all these scopes because if you go to Walgreens, these little behind things be like $5. I ain't got time for that. And I got the fake bleach too. Because if you're stuck that dirty that you just need all this bleach on it. And it's not even healthy for us to be breathing in all that bleach anyway. So I'm not finna go and pay no $6 for no thing of bleach. No. No. Because white clothes is corny anyway. I don't like washing white clothes. Yo. The last thing I'm going to show y'all too is I got this sweater from um, Marshalls. I ain't even filming Marshalls, y'all. It was, they had a funny smell in there. I was like, I got to hurry up and get out of here. So I got this sweater from Marshalls. It was $24.99. Y'all remember when I was trying to get the other um, sweater with the strawberries on there, Treacher told me not to get it. Well, Treacher wasn't with me today. So I got what I wanted to get. And this is the sweater. I'm gonna try it on. Cause I think this would look cute with some, um, what you call it? Like some, I think it'll look cute with like an all black overgarment on. So I got this sweater. Yes, I can't wait to sweat the weather. Y'all, I still don't feel good. I just told my husband, I was like, I don't know if I'm about to go to the hospital and get a dark on EKG because my heart is beating so fast. It's like beating out of my chest. Like, I know it's anxiety. I feel like it's anxiety because I've been down this road before, but I just don't. I don't know what triggered it. Like, it's been like this ever since that day when I went into the hospital. And now it's just like, come on, like, go away. So what I'm going to do is, like, when I first found out I had anxiety, because I'm not one of them people that live in something, I'm going to figure out what I got to do, the handle it, whatever. Why well, I still got the sweater on? I don't know, because I like it. So I used to always Google what I would do to like get rid of my anxiety or whatever. And one of the things was to take an Epsom salt bath. So I'm gonna um, 
And I'm not a bad girl. Like I'll be in that shower and I don't I don't sit in the tub. But tonight I'm gonna go and I'm gonna run me a bath with some hot water to like try to get some steam up in me. I'm gonna run me a bath and I'm going to put some Epsom salt and bubble bath in here. And I'm gonna sit in there for like 15 minutes. Um and that's gonna be pretty much it for tonight. I'm not going in this vlog today. Like, I know I've been getting into the day in the life. That's what you call them. Like, a day in the life. I've been doing a lot of those. Like, one day, I'm out, I'm done. But, I don't know. I feel like I want to just keep this one going on for a little while longer. So, inshallah, I'm going to get back with y'all tomorrow. But, time for a bath. Oh, look at me. I'm off. Flushed. Is your car moving? I'm not moving. It felt like you did. Yo, we are about to go to the supermarket and we're going to Target. It is the next day, y'all. Y'all, my friends, I love y'all. I had a rough night. Crazy. I'm going to tell y'all about it when I come back home. But treasure on her break. We're going to Target and we got to go get some groceries for dinner because we didn't make it there yesterday. So I just wanted to come in and check in with y'all real quick. We out here. Hi. <laughs> I like me. I know. I should get that. Is, but, but is it pajamas? Yes, yes. I need to get that and work No, but I'm saying, like, I want it like to be like sweatsuit ish. Yo, I broke my tripod. <laughs> Yes, your dad was so irked when you had them pajamas Why? on. He wasn't irked. He was like, what is that? You got on. <laughs> Treasure be ordering all his, these silky pajamas, yo. And her dad be like, where you get this from? I get tired of wearing gray. I want cream. Remember that day you said, I was telling mama about that day. You guys said on the weekends, you see on the weekends, I like to clean. I was like, what do you like to do on the weekends? You was like, like on Saturdays, I like to mop the floor. I like to vacuum the rug. Shampoo the rug. I'm like, why do you find that it's like a big and So I don't have to, this car is loud. I feel like I shouldn't push this while I'm talking. I'm going to talk to y'all later. We are back home, y'all. I got everything out the way. If y'all can see, I still got all this stuff up from last night. When I tell you, I feel horrible. I had a panic attack last night. I haven't had a panic attack in years. And I had one last night. So I was Googling like all the symptoms from amoxicillin because y'all know my hair is messed up. And I read a lot of people saying that they had panic attacks from the amoxicillin or like it triggered anxiety or whatever. So I still got three days left and I'm not, I'm not taking the rest of those pills. Yo, I had to put this long, um, this long, what's the name on? It's like a button down, Ooh, it come down far. But I put it on because I ain't had no overgarment on when I went outside. But yeah, a lot of people were saying that they was having increased anxiety from amoxicillin. So I'm done with that. I got enough groceries to last for um, about two days in terms of like dinner, 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 dinner. I got like enough for two days. So we gonna have to deal with the rest. You know when we cross that we cross that bridge when we get there and i wanna i don't know if y'all saw my short where i um wash my whites in peroxide i let them soak in the tub i put the peroxide on there i'm gonna start doing that more often so i'm gonna show y'all that too 
I'm getting ready to go ahead and put this food away and stuff and just get ready to lay back down. Like, I am i didn't even make my bed up this morning. It's so much stuff that I'm doing that is so out of the norm for me and I don't even care. I just gotta get back to feeling like myself. So, I'm gonna check back in with y'all. Tonight we have an um, Chipotle goals. I did a shirt with that too, but my family seemed to like them a whole bunch. So, we're gonna do Chipotle goals tonight. I'm gonna do my laundry with soaking it in the tub, showing y'all how I do the peroxide. And just, you know, how much it gets the dirt out of it. So I'm gonna check back in with y'all a little later and show y'all. <laughs> y'all tell me why y'all not gonna believe this so i just got finished eating dinner but um i just got finished eating dinner i cleaned the kitchen up and everything vacuumed my tell me why i hate that light back there it's all these okay and then i want to be too close Y'all, tell me why my son cooked the chicken. Because I didn't feel like dealing with the chicken. Treasure. Yeah, girl, Treasure. She made the rice. It was microwave rice, but she made it. She washed the lettuce off. She cut up the cucumber. Listen, it was a whole bunch of teamwork in here today. So, let me move this back a little bit more. That's cool. That's cool. Y'all almost fell because the floor is <laughs> what? The floor is still wet. So I had braided my son here earlier. And um I was really just like chilling all day. But y'all guess what? I feel so much better. Okay, so I stopped. This thing is crooked, y'all. So I stopped taking those antibiotics for the ear infection. My ear, it then started feeling better. You know how like when you take antibiotics for a few days, you start feeling better. So I stopped taking the antibiotic for the ear infection. And today, my chest don't feel that heavy. I'm not feeling like anxious. I feel more like myself. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it could have been the antibiotics. I, I really don't know. But I just lit my living room candles. I'm getting ready to sit in there and just like watch some TV for a little while because my husband, he upstairs, I think he watching a football game and I don't want no price of that. So I'm gonna sit in here and watch TV for a little while. And then I don't know, I may close this vlog out depending on how much footage I got or I gotta check cause I just don't know. I just don't be knowing, but if this is your first time here, thank you for subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My returning subscribers, y'all already know how I feel about y'all. Um, until next time, y'all, I love you. Bye. OMG, y'all, I took it back to the old school, soaking these clothes in the tub. So, y'all, hear me out. My husband is a mechanic. His whites get really dirty. Our washcloths begin to get faded after a while. So, I put some hydrogen peroxide in there. I let it soak for a while. I wrung it out. I didn't scrub it or nothing. I just wrung them out. Then I put them in the washer like I normally would. And, y'all, these clothes came out so clean. Even the washcloth that was faded it got a lot whiter y'all i would definitely recommend to do this and i will be doing this more often especially because these are all the whites that i wash i don't wash a lot of white clothes so yeah if you can do it go ahead and do it you won't regret it oh yeah please don't forget to follow and subscribe for more tips bye y'all